everybody doing tonight? Damn, she is hot. Stop! <laughs> you should have set your fine ass in the front. <laughs> Took your ass to the back with the blacks. No. <laughs> you know what they say? Once you go black, you get to sell on them mixtapes. <laughs> My name is Richard Dickerson, man. From Wisconsin. Thank you. <laughs> you know, Wisconsin is where they create white people. That's where white people are made. <laughs> and home of che beer, cheese, and racism. Man, I was, um, got, got pulled over by a cop one day. I was peeing on the church. <laughs> Fuck it, I had to pee. And he was like, you can't pee in public, you can't pee outside, you can't do this. Like, What's your name? I go, Richard Dickerson. He's like, that's not your fucking name. He takes my ID, goes back to the squad car, he comes back. I can't arrest nobody named Dickerson with their dick out. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, I love my name. I just moved to Florida like two years ago, man. It's crazy. Florida is the only place where you can see 55-year-old women with 22-year-old titties. <laughs> man. <laughs> Bitches be like Mr. Potato Head, just plastic surgery everywhere, just be adding extra shit, man. I fucked a white woman so old, Elvis Presley was her man crush one day. <laughs> she was like, if we fucked in my 20s, you probably would have been hung. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you gotta mess around with these old women, though. These old women to pay the bills, man. It's crazy, man. These young women don't want to pay for nothing nowadays. They wanna... Ain't me an old woman. I'm broke. I'm a comedian. Poor. <laughs> My credit, y'all know it sucks. But I need an old woman. So when y'all see y'all grandmas tossing my salad later on tonight, <laughs> no, I just gotta bust these moves. Look at this. Y'all a couple? Hey, y'all a couple. Y'all a couple? No, nah, fuck that. Don't be trying to cock block for her. We on her like hyenas after this motherfucker. Like, where the one, where the tattered white girl go, huh? <laughs> No couples, man, you know. Any couples out here at all? Anybody out here in a relationship got couples? No? Y'all lonely as fuck? That's sad. Man. <laughs> I just had to break up with my girlfriend. I, was, I ended up cheating on her, man. I love to cheat, man. It's exciting. You know why? It can keep you on your toes. We together, I'm a cheat. You know why? I'm not gonna fuck nobody better than you. I'm gonna cheat somebody worse to appreciate what I got. The problem with women are you up, you don't post to upgrade when you cheat. Don't. <laughs> don't upgrade when you cheat. <laughs> man, you know, the difference, oh, it's a lot of things that's different between men and women. You know, you know you women, you know you women out there. I can't see y'all because these lights in my motherfucking eyes. Y'all like to do the stupid question game. Dumb shit like, what are three people who you will fuck? Like, well, my ex said them to me. Richard, I know we're together, but... This boy, she's a white girl, so big white girl. So I'm doing like, Richard, oh yeah, Richard, Richard, who would you date? I'm like, she's like, who would you fuck if we weren't together? It's like, baby, you really want me to answer that question? She's like, yeah, I, I, I want to hear it. I was like, you go first. So she names all three celebrities, which one would do. She was like, so who would you fuck? I was like, okay, I'll fuck your sister, I'll fuck the lady next door, and I'll fuck that one chick we always see at Walmart. She's like, oh my god, why, why, why would you say that? I was like, man, we like to fuck girls that we know we can fuck. I'm not gonna name off three bitches I will never get to fuck in my life. <laughs> man, the guy told the little joke about the N-word earlier. That is true, man. I always had that philosophy about white people. There's two types of white people in the world. White people who hate the N-word. Ugh, nigga, I fucking hate it, yuck. They ain't got white people who love it. It's like sugar. They always they wanted to be able to say the word. So one day I'm at this party with my friend, and this song by this American poet named Chief Keith comes on. <laughs> if y'all don't know Chief Keith, he does this song, and it goes like this: A bitch nigga, that's that shit I don't like. A fuck nigga, that's that shit I don't like. And so we're at the party, and that song is just on. And he's just like, Hey bitch. That's that shit I don't like. Hey, fuck. That's that shit I don't like. And every time the N-word comes on, he gives me a glare. And my girlfriend, she's like, baby, why is he looking at you? And I was like, shit, I don't know. And then I was like, oh, okay. He wants me to give him a nod. <laughs> y'all know, y'all can't wait for that. 
So the song first comes up, he's like, hey, bitch. He looks at me. I look at him. He looks at me. And I nod my head. He goes, nigga! Nigga, 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 nigga. One, two, nigga, three, nigga. He turned to Dr. Seuss to the N-word. He act like I knighted him to say the N-word. He got on one knee and I had a sword that had nigga on it. I was like, you have access. He wanted to take this shit to the bank to get a nigga notarized. All right, y'all. My name is Richard. That's my time. Coming up to the stage is a good friend of mine. Give it up for Jack Napier, everybody. Give it up for Jack Napier.